Another day, another stop. Today we are in Savannah, Georgia. We have always heard a lot about this historic town but never got a chance to see it so on our this road trip from Scranton to all the way to Key West we thought that why don't we make a stop at Swana, Georgia and explore this town. We reached the town a little late right, right now it's like 12.30 and we are having our lunch and breakfast all together as a brunch right now at this Indian restaurant called Naan on Broad. We place an order for tandoori chicken, samosa chaat, chicken chutnadu and some tea because the morning does not start without a tea. And this is how Americans drink tea. <laughs> I'm blowing on it because it's too hot. <laughs> After the samosa chart, the main dishes came and they were delicious and we de literally destroyed them because one, they were delicious and second, we were also hungry like literally hungry. So after destroying the food, we are now out and about and on our bikes. So let's bike a little bit and try to explore the area and see what we can find in this area. That bike ride literally made me tired. So taking a short break from that bike ride to send a drone up and see this area from the skies. about this town that this town is very modernized old and very hopping town and a very touristy attraction but have never been here until today and let me tell you this is worth a visit the best thing about riding a bike in any new town is that you get to cover most of the area right I'm so glad that we brought up bicycles because we are covering a lot of road. We would have never been able to cover this much of a ground on our feet. Never. was catching up to us so we took a short break for a smoothie i'm surprised that in this town we could only find one smoothie place on the internet but i have to say that her smoothies were good and after the smoothies we are all refreshed and feeling as good as new so it's time to hit the riverfront and see what the riverfront of swana georgia looks like a lot of jerking Woo -hoo. Please, just come slow 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 Woo -hoo. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. this is how you go to the riverfront area because up is the main street and then you have to take all these curvy roads towards the bottom here we go this looks a little bit smoother oh 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 look at that view the river and the streets The person was right, this riverfront has an entirely different vibe over here. There's a rail track right over here, the shops are here, the river is there.
so that was a fun ride but we literally rode our bikes for almost 4 hours and now we could not take it anymore so let's see what else we can do over here a little update that it's so hot out here and because of which not many people are going on a cruise in the river so we decided not to go there instead we came over here in front of the old town trolley tour so we can hop on a trolley and enjoy the story through the locals and see what this town is all about There are so many kind of trolley tours, old trolley tours, city trolley tours, ghost trolley tours, a bunch of different kind of trolley tours. I do not know which one we picked. I think we should pick the normal city tour because we cannot wait over here for the ghost tours as ghost tours trolley start late at night. So we'll just do the city trolley, explore the city on the trolley and I think that's pretty much it. We're in the trolley and there are a bunch of people coming in and once after the trolley is all filled up, we will head out for our tours. And we got a free water bottle. Yeah, the tour lady was nice enough to give us her own water bottle. So so sweet. Yeah, just because we asked. This is the oldest tree, 300 years old. That was an amazing experience. I love that bus tour. This town looks so modern, yet still this town is so old that it's even haunted and is number one haunted town of America. If I have knew that before, I would have taken the haunted bus trolley. But anyways, we also came to realize that along with that hauntedness comes with sweetness. And there is an ice cream shop that is more than 200 years old. So let's go over there and grab an ice cream and head out of this town. And here we are, this is the ice cream place that he was talking about, that we should have it before leaving the town. This cone looks so good, now let me enjoy this 2000 years old cone. And I'll see you in the next vlog at Daytona Beach. Yes, Daytona Beach is where we are heading right now. So I'll see you in the next vlog. Until then, subscribe and peace. Oh my god, why are you biting it? Psychopath. No one bites ice cream. I do. Oh, Gundy. Who Gundy? Oh, eh, eh. Hey, feel I'm in the mood for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose till I hit.